This is TT Artisan's 28mm f5.6M, a very, very special lens. Let's have a look. First and foremost, let's give a big welcome to TT Artisan, who officially joins the Michael Forthers Alliance. And what this means is that we will be seeing some dedicated Michael Forthers lenses in the near future, and not the adapted APS-C offerings. But today, we are focusing on this, TT Artisan's first collector's item, the 28mm f5.6M. Well, when I first learned about this little guy here, I was a little shocked, especially when I saw the promo photos. It looked just like the Leica Sumeron 28mm 5.6 that I tested a few years ago. It was a lens that got me fascinated about tiny vintage lenses. Not that I would spend over two grand to buy a re-released 1950s optic, but it definitely looked interesting. Fast forward to 2022, I got this from TT Artisan, their version of this magnificent looking lens for just a tenth of the price. Hey. I was already into the look of this lens, and can I resist such a low price tag? The answer is no. I want it, and I got it. First, I wouldn't compare TT Artisan to Leica. Despite the similar appearance, they are different lenses. But a lens is still a lens. I already know that Leica Sumeron was a performer, optically. But can this little brother from a different mother perform? Well, let's find out. Because of what it is, I think TT Artisan is selling this lens for fun collectors and perhaps vintage photographers who want to dress up their equally vintage looking outfit. But for me though, I may be a little bit of everything. First, TT Artisan's 28mm 5.6 is Leica M mount only, just like the Summeron 28mm 5.6. Its modest aperture size allows the design to be small, like I mean really small. And well, just look at this, and I mean <laughs> tiny small. Well, with a 39mm diameter and 20mm in length, this is just super tiny and compact. But unlike most of the pancake or body cap lenses I reviewed previously, it is a fully functional lens with proper aperture and focus coil. And yes, it is also coupled, that means you can utilize Leica M camera's rangefinder. That said, like all Leica M mount lenses, I can also adapt this lens to any of my micro four-third cameras via a very affordable adapter. Sorry, am I supposed to talk about build quality? I think I am, but this is just good looking. I can't help myself. Anyway, build quality. <laughs> TT Artisan's 28mm 5.6 is built like a proper Leica lens which is a great compliment. And better still, I'm not comparing it to any of the ordinary modern Leica lenses, but a good old fashioned World War II atomic bomb proof or brass construction Leica lenses. In short, it is bloody good. The tiny dimension may be deceiving, but it feels hefty for its size. The included brass hood is also luxuriously fantastic. And both the focus and aperture rings are very well damped with good amount of resistance. So the overall construction is very Germanic. So from a build quality point of view, this lens is worth a lot more than its asking price.
want to complain one thing about this lens. Well, this is a review at the end of the day. So the one thing that I didn't like about TT Artisan's 28mm 5.6 as a shooter is the handling. Like I mentioned earlier, functionally, there's little not to like about the lens. The quality of finish is approaching one that costs 10 times more. But what I'm complaining about is the design being too vintage. The lens is just too small for quick adjustments. While the click aperture is nicely placed at the front of the lens, I can't say the same for the ultra low profile focusing ring. The little spring tab is hard to feel if you have bigger fingers or wearing gloves like now in the winter. Equally, the distance scale. While it's nicely engraved to the lens, it is flat on the mount instead of on the lens barrel, making it hard to see when you look down on the camera from above. But one distinct advantage of such a compact design is obviously the weight distribution. 150 gram, it certainly has some heft for its tiny size. But when mounted to a camera body, whether it's a Leica M or my Pen F, it is perfectly balanced. So I would say that it handles well for a vintage style lens. But if you're used to modern ergonomics and super quick actions, this may not be a lens that you would appreciate. Now, crunch time. I said that TT Artisan's 28mm 5.6 is not a clone to like a Sommeron 28mm 5.6. While I know Sommeron performed during the time I had it, I'm definitely interested to see if TT Artisan can match the performance optically. For the purpose of my test, I use my Leica M instead of my Pen F, because you get the best portion of the image circle when you adapt a full frame lens to micro four thirds. So if the lens performs on full frame, you should expect to get better performing parts of it if you use it on a crop format camera. As you can see, the central sharpness is very good at 5.6, as you would expect from a very simple lens design. And details are nicely resolved and quality peaks at f8, before the fraction starts to creep in at f11. Corner sharpness is a slightly different story though, but as expected, at wide open 5.6, it's rather soft, but somehow holds the details, a little like out of focus rather than actually being unsharp. And stopping down the lens does improve things a bit, but I would not call it edge to edge sharp. This could be a result of a curved focal plane, which means that it may perform better on film rather than digital, as you always have a slight curved film back, unlike a completely flat digital sensor. But having said that, remember I said about adapting a lens on a crop format camera, you get a better portion of the image circle. So if you use it on the Micro Four Thirds, for instance, you would not have any of those problems I just mentioned. There is a bit of vignette too, but nothing I would call it disastrous, and it can be easily corrected in post. And also it has a little bit of barrel distortion, and yet again, nothing too serious, and a plus four correction in Lightroom will fix it properly. Because of this simple optic design, fringing is almost non-existent, even in high contrast scenes, which is pretty good, especially when you consider the price of the lens. But for those who love sun stars, well, you will be disappointed as it has only six inwardly curved blades and it's very hard to even get any sort of sun star from it. Flare is present too, but because of this simple design yet again, multi-ghosting doesn't exist. And all you have is some simple blotches when you push the lens hard against the bright light source. And bokeh, well, even as a full frame lens, a 28 mm 5.6 won't give you much of subject separation anyway. And with a minimum focusing distance of one meter, yep, you heard that right, 100 centimeters to be precise. So unlikely you can see much of a bokeh with this lens anyway. And you can basically forget about that on a micro four third camera. But like I said, bokeh is the draw of the lens, the rendering or the character of it. So I deliberately out focus so you can see how it draws the bokeh ball. At wide open, the balls are pretty decent, but as it only has six blades, the balls aren't as smooth when stopped down, which does present a vintage draw overall. Look, TT Artisan's 28mm 5.6 is made for collectors and photographers who would actually use the lens for some specific projects. It is not an everyday versatile lens that you should keep in your camera bag. To me though, this TT Artisan's vintage lens represents a very unique proposition to photographers to someone who loves vintage design, both physical and optical. 
and someone who appreciate and enjoy the old school engineering, and someone who may already have a Leica M camera, film or digital, or mirrorless cameras. With a deep depth of field, this 28mm 5.6 is almost a no-brainer, even for those who are hyper-focused for street photography, especially when you consider the price tag with similar build quality, for once from a budget lens manufacturer, and optical performance, which to be fair, that Leica Summeron was based on the original 1950 design, which is not hard to equal anyway. But that makes me wonder how much money Leica actually makes for their own 28mm 5.6, which cost about 10 times more. Having said that, TT Artisan's 28mm 5.6 is a worthy new vintage lens that you can buy today without spending a collector's premium. Get it if you're looking for some unique old school lens and you don't want to troll through Evil Bay or worry about the conditions of them, or simply don't want to make Leica any richer. <laughs> well, there you go. This brings the end to my review and let me know your thoughts about this little lens. And you know what to do now, thumb if you liked it, and sub if you want to stay in touch with all things photography, filmmaking, and of course, OM system. Peace! Well, it is really gorgeous looking, I have to say whether it's on the Leica or on a compact body like the Pen F. With this brass hood, it just it just looks sexy, right? And I, I just just look at this. Just look at this. This is this is just nice. This is just yummy. Yeah, yummy is the word. Yummy. Looks really good. And I have to say that this is actually pretty good for black and white photography. If you have a film camera, film like a camera, if not, using a black and white uh, uh, mode on, you know, your digital mirrorless cameras, it's just equally fantastic. You know, you may have to push the ISO high because, you know, the maximum aperture is 5.6. So unless you're shooting in bright daylight, it's going to be a bit of a tricky situation. But, you know, if you, you don't mind that, which I don't personally, because I, I used to shoot uh, film, you know, pushing the, uh, the, the film like two to three stops uh, with a black and white Ilford. Uh, you get a lot of grains anyway, so I'm kind of used to that kind of rough uh, 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 look to the actual uh, aesthetics. So this is actually okay for me, and I don't mind pushing it, and I don't mind getting noise from it, especially in black and white mode. Uh, it just looks very old school, which I, I really dig that look. Yeah, anyway, check out uh, uh, this, this lens. I'll put the link in the description uh, if you want to see this lens. And uh, yeah, you, you see some of my images already. You can go back to it, have a look at it. Uh, which I used it for some street photography uh, when I was testing the lens. So yeah, it, it, it's just fantastic. Anyway, I will speak to you all later next time. I will continue to source you some saucy lenses if I can and uh, and show you guys. Yeah, until next time. Bye for now.